All right, Kitty Crumpton. Oh, hey now. Oh. Kitty Crumpton, looking good there, buddy. Out of that, kicking a Kenny shirt and into a sweet suit. Yeah. And you're matching <laughs> us with the coral, it looks like almost. Well, when you have, uh, naturally in Wayne, when you have <laughs> in the store as your closet, Jack will find something for you. And you, and you come in, Wayne looks good. He's, he's on, he's on trend. He's on target. I he's, mean, yeah. it might be a little early for two spring of colorations. But like he's in the right, he's, pants, he's, he's but, ready. He's but ready. You know what? He's bringing it. Yeah, okay. I'm digging it. Well, speak, speaking of bringing it, all right, we're going to talk about uh, Taylor DeFitt and Deconstructed. Yeah, you know what? So, so uh, categorically, as we talk about earlier mm -hmm. sport coats certainly are one of the categories that you've got differentiations between tailored fit mm -hmm. and soft deconstructed fits and what you have on today right now oh, is so a tailored um, fit yes and the tailored fit has much more presence to the shoulder line you have mm -hmm. angles it's a much dressier coat these kinds of things they're wonderful to have in your closet you should have them in your closet but they're geared more towards looking a little more refined and a tad more professional like Wayne all the time okay. yeah so, Wayne probably so, sleeps in something so like this. So take that off, okay. and you can tell all of our friends that are watching the difference between how these feel. Okay. Because you, you get out of this and you come into these, which are deconstructed. Mm -hmm. That means they still have construction in them. Right. And, and the important part of these kinds of coats is making sure that you still have a presence to the shoulder line, mm -hmm. which we do. There's a presence in here. There's a slight little support that gives you angles that you're looking for. And but at the end of the day, tell them how it feels. It's so. I feel like I'm wearing air. Yeah. It's very very loose. Yeah. Yes. So it gives you Easy. it gives you the appearance of a sport coat without it really being a sport See how coat. It's bending. Okay. Very it's more nice. sportswear driven. And then over here we have some examples of some ensembles. Examples. So so we'll start on uh, at this side because we had mentioned graphic tees earlier. Yeah. And, and this truly goes back to probably the most casual of all outfits on the table because we have it teamed up with the denim. Mm -hmm. But this kind of look you can throw back to a graphic tee, but you can also put it into a knit. And in this case, it's a long sleeve, super lightweight knit. Gotcha. So it gives the appearance of kind of being a t-shirt, but it's really not a t-shirt. Okay. I mean, it's a much more refined kind of look. Beautiful plaid here. And then you can bring it into also a cut and sewn. Okay. Here, a beautiful plaid that, I mean, it's a shirt. Feel how lightweight this is. It's like a shirt oh construction. It does feel like Same a shirt. Same concept back to a, a, in this case, denim alternative, which we'll talk about down in one of our next segments. Okay. But denim alternative because it replaces what a jean would be back into these outfits. You can wear a jean here. You can wear the plaid. You can do, again, a long sleeve, lightweight sweater underneath here. You can also do yeah. a t-shirt. And then last but not least. And lastly, so this is back into stretch oh, wow. fabrics and, and layered stretch fabric. So I got the hoodie underneath there, but you don't have to wear it that way. It just right. gives you an opportunity to being able to bring all the colors back together. Here we've got it teamed up with a nice little seafoam green back into tan. You've got the linen t-shirt underneath it um, along with a long sleeve Henley. So long sleeve is not a no-no. For spring summer, you can okay. wear long sleeves, in especially spring, if summer, it's a lighter. But it's got to be lightweight. You can't get into anything that's too heavy. All of these looks happen to pair back really well to the kind of coat that you have on. Very nice. And behind us, we see a lead into the same concept of kinds of coats when it comes to their construction. Yeah. Um, you see great coats it's... for you to travel with. Great coats for Kentucky Derby if you're looking for mm -hmm. color. Okay. Because these are the kinds of things that you should be wearing there. When we come back, I want to talk about how the the fashion hoodie is in for men to wear with blazers. It's a whole different thing. We are out of time, and but we, I want I want to touch on that. And we have it in our next segment, the which we'll talk about hoodie. hybrids. Okay, hybrids. Hybrids. Hybrids and a hoodie. Fa All right. Fashion vernacular. <laughs> hybrids. <laughs> We're going to go back to you guys so. in the studio. All right, hanging out with Jack right here at J3 in Moreland Hills. All right, back to you guys. Got some good stuff. Excellent. Some great stuff. Yeah. Kenny, if you see anything you think Wayne would like, you know, Pick it up for a friend. Or Todd or Gabe or, you yeah. know, <laughs> hey, don't, 